In 1897, Filson opened C.C. Filson's Pioneer Alaska Clothing and Blanket Manufacturers, specializing in goods to outfit the Stampeders to the Klondike Gold Rush. In that era, clothing wasn't a matter of choice, but of survival. The Filson Company started in Seattle in 1897, uh, outfitting the, uh, the gold rush, uh, the individuals who were on their way up to Alaska. And this was one of the, the last stops on your way up. So from there, we, uh, we entered into the logging industry. So uh, Seattle has had several different uh, industries come through and, and kind of be the uh, Oh, be the lifeblood of, uh, of the Northwest, and uh, we have always managed for 113 years to change with it. I've, I've looked at tons of old black and white pictures, and you see like, you see company signs that used to make boot makers and, you know, hat, like hat makers and all these like gentry shops, and all that stuff is gone, but that's one thing that's great about Filson is they were around then, they're still, they're still around now, they're still downtown, they still have that presence, so they really are kind of a monument to the city. Their stuff really talks about, you know, what men and women used to have to, to go through and, you know, to, to bring in their living. And that's really for them and for those people and for those men that were going out to those conditions, Filson was a life, it was a lifesaver. It was like what kept them warm, what kept them dry, what kept them from you know, far from death. So yeah, it really is, it's a, it's a great monument to the city in that way because it tells a story about the city. There's a lot less steps involved with our company than most. Um, we are still quite small. The beauty of manufacturing yourself is you can control the quality. And with the, the workers, a lot of second and third generation workers in our factory, uh, the, uh, the techniques that, have, that we've used for, for years are still continuing to show up in the new products that we have. And then also because we're involved with the pattern development of products that are outsourced for us. So it's, uh, it's definitely a, a convenience to have your own manufacturing and design team on hand. We stand behind anything we have ever made. If you're going to pay money, you might as well have the best out there. If, uh, if you're going to be working, if you're going to be hunting, if you're going to be out in the elements, it doesn't pay to get anything that's inferior. You might as well have the best.